Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make a logo spin in Final Cut Pro. Get ready for spin class. Now I'm gonna show you how to spin a logo using keyframes and how to create some custom spinning transitions. Then I'm gonna show you some tricks of how to achieve the same results, but quickly with titles and transitions. And then finally, a few uh, cool tricks I'm gonna show you. One is a nudge animation, and the other is a spinning logo watermark, kinda like a fancy TV broadcast. Let's go check it out. All right, so we're in Final Cut Pro. We're gonna start rolling through the basics. First thing we're gonna look at is this uh, company logo of a miner. Let's take this here, bring up the inspector window. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our playhead at the beginning on the rotation. We're gonna hit a keyframe. Then we're gonna go all the way to the very end, very last frame. We're gonna hit another keyframe. Now while we're here, we're gonna rotate this to 360. What that is gonna do is gonna create one revolution, one rotation. So let's go back and play it back. There we go. Now let's say we don't like that direction. Let's find that keyframe again. All right, so we'll use these arrows here to move between the keyframes. We're gonna go back to the ending. Now let's try negative 360. That's gonna take it the opposite direction. And let's play that back. There we are. You can adjust this. We can take this whole thing here, put this in a compound clip, name this rotating minor, and now we can retime this and make it slower, faster. So we put that into a compound clip to create a basically a new video clip with the existing adjustments that have been made. Stay the same rotation, it'll spin one time, but as slow or as fast as we want it to go. And you can repeat that because we did it one full rotation. You could copy, paste, and it will just keep spinning. So in this section, we're gonna roll this logo into frame. First thing I wanna do though, is scale this down a bit, just a bit more manageable right there, 60%, that works great. We're gonna add a keyframe to the beginning of the rotation as well as the position. And then what we'll do is we'll move forward about one second in right there. And then we'll insert another keyframe. And then we'll go back to the beginning, this first keyframe here. And we're gonna take this rotation back. Let's just try 180. Right around there. So we've got that rotation set on that first keyframe. We're also gonna change the position so it ends up off the screen. So we take this X value, bring that back. You might have to move your mouse a bit like me. <laughs> All right, so that's off the screen now. Let's test it out, see what effect we got. All right, pretty cool. All right, let's repeat that for the ending. We're gonna go to the very end. We're gonna set that final keyframe right here for the rotation and the X value, and then we're gonna come back one second. It's a four second clip, so we're gonna go to about three. And then right there, our keyframes, and then using those arrows, I'm gonna go to the final keyframe, adjust this off the screen, and then set that rotation to, I think we're gonna do negative 180. We wanna see that roll a little differently. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. Coal miners roll out. All right, so we're gonna try a similar transition, but we're gonna scale it this time. So let's set those keyframes on scale and rotation. And we're gonna go in about a second and hit scale and rotation. And then what we're gonna do is come back to the original keyframe. We wanna rotate this, let's just say 180. And then the scale is gonna be down to zero. Watch that, boom. Nice little spinning transition. 
And then the same thing at the end. Let's go ahead and hit the keyframe at the end there. Scale and rotation. Come back in about a second. Scale and rotation. Let me go to the final, final keyframe there. Go back to zero scale. We are gonna go negative 180. Spins out. Spin away! Now, you're probably saying, Chris, please, just show me a transition that I can drag and drop to make the same effect. So let's let's try that out. Let's pull up transitions. So let's find that. We are spinning logos after all. Boom. Bring that in. One spin, two spin. And let's play and see what happens. Woo! That's fun. Eh, something happened weird at the end. So we're gonna click on this here. There's an adjustment we need to make, which is in the direction. So instead of telling it to do automatic, we want it to set an out spin. So let's try that out. Yep, there it goes. In the beginning, just for kicks, let's go ahead and just make sure that's an in. So we have an in spin and an out. Now you can adjust these. So if you don't like the subtle spin that's happening, you can actually adjust it to be even more of a radical spin. Like if we go up to 180, it'll do a complete flip from upside down to here. Or if you did a 360, even more of a spin. It's a little too much for, for my taste on this one. So let's set that back to 180. We can do the same thing to the other one. 180. And play it back. And so in a matter of seconds, definitely less than a minute, you can have a spinning logo effect with that spin transition. If you're finding this helpful so far, just know we release new content all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Take stupid raisins for a spin. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notified when we release our next video. All right, so let's say you have a video project where you need a logo to stay on the screen for let's say more than 10 seconds. Now after a while that logo is, is, is very static and there's not much going on. So we can create a nudge animation that will keep your audience interested and occasionally will notice that logo. I'm gonna go to one with some flipping and spinning. Let's go to flip, multi-flip, and let's see what happens here. All right, now that's a little fast. Let's lengthen that out a bit. There we go. Now we're gonna do something similar, but we're gonna use some keyframes. So let's add a keyframe here. And we're gonna move forward maybe two frames. Drop another one, and then this is where we start changing this rotation. So we're gonna go up to, let's just say five. Move forward a few more keyframes. Go back down. We're gonna go to negative, let's just say four. And then move over a bit more and put that back to zero. Now let's see what we did. Let's take a closer look. You can either right click and select the video animation or we can do Control V and that expands these. Now you see these keyframes, we got them a little close together. Let's drag these apart. Mess around with this a little bit and find the look that you're going for with your logo. But I think that works pretty good right here. It just, is, just gives a little bit of life to it. Now we could create a rotation for this and have it just comp uh, spinning around constantly. But I'm instead, I'm, I found this clip here, this circle that we're gonna drop right below it. And then we're gonna scale this in to match it. Looks like a, like a cog in the machine, like a gear. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make that spin instead of the logo. That way that man doesn't get dizzy. So let's go ahead and set that rotation. We got that one keyframe there, keyframe here. And this final keyframe we are going to rotate. Let's do a full 360. And you got that spinning around. Now we went 360 because it's gonna do a full rotation. So we can actually take this these two clips, create a compound clip. 
And what we'll do is change the speed. Let's slow that down. We can actually adjust it however we want. And then we can scale that. Scale it down over to the right. Let's just do the transform buttons here. Let's set that right where we want it. Boom. And we got that logo spinning off to the side. And in order to get this effect within the same PNG file here, we're gonna drop a mask. In this case, we can use a shape mask. We're gonna move these around until we got just the inside. And then we're gonna copy this. So we'll hold Option, drag it up. And then all we're gonna do is find that mask and invert it. So now we've preserved both parts of the logo, but now it's separated between the top and bottom. If we hid that one, you'd see it's hiding the middle and that's hiding the outer part. So since we're on the outer part right now, we're gonna click that, add some keyframes at the beginning for the rotation and at the end for the rotation. And at the ending, we're just gonna put, again, just 360. And the center part of the logo is staying still, but the outer part is moving. So let's take this, make a compound clip, and let's drop a clip in here with this car driving. So we can take this and use the transform tool, make that smaller. But yeah, we got our logo spinning. Now that your head is spinning from all the uh, spinning, I have a free gift for you. A pack of Final Cut Pro 10 plugins to enhance your videos and impress your clients. It's worth $138, but it is yours free. Just click below for your free gift.